Hey, folks. Tim Murray, Michael Jenkins. We are the Daily Line, and Jenks, big news. Yeah. Case Keenum. Woo! Super Bowl for the Redskins. <laughs> Super Bowl. So, the news, let's uh, break it down for everybody. Case Keenum has been traded to the Washington Redskins. Now, when this news initially broke, you and I were looking at each other thinking, are they going to give him $18 million to come to right. Washington? Now, when you look at the specifics, the Redskins gave up a 2020 sixth round pick, received a 2020 seventh round pick from the Denver Broncos. Mm -hmm. They are splitting the cost on Case Keenum. So he comes to Washington for $3.5 million. And if you are wondering, the odds out of the Westgate Superbook have certainly not changed at all. Redskins are still 100 to 1 to win the Super Bowl, just like when Joe Flacco was traded to Denver. Those odds did not change. Here's the needle not moving, <laughs> just staying nice and quiet. Now, yeah, well, you and I, I think, are in agreement. Yes. This move on paper is not a bad move. It's not. It, it's not that much money. The Redskins do need a backup, although we're hearing that Case Keenum will compete with Colt, Colt McCoy, McCoy, which is a problem in and of itself. If Case Keenum beats out Colt, I mean, talk I about guess a riveting positional out. battle. Yeah. So the Redskins do need a backup. This is not a high price to pay. The biggest issue, I think, is when you're talking about the Redskins and fans in general, and, and we grew up in D.C. or in this area enough that this is a Redskins move, right? It's not a terrible move, but it doesn't make your team a whole bunch better. It's just really in line with what the Redskins do. So if you're a fan and you see this, you say, okay, maybe it's not the worst deal, but it's it, it's Case Keenum. What does this do to make us better? And the answer is not really anything. The only thing that might be going on here is that Cliff Kingsbury knows Case Keenum from their time together at Houston. Mm -hmm. So if you're Cliff Kingsbury and you've got your eyes set, you've got your heart set on drafting Kyler Murray, potentially you want to get rid of Josh Rosen, you send him to D.C., and you get a backup you know in Case Keenum in wow. return. So maybe <laughs> maybe the Redskins are going to be masterminds here. I don't know about that because of their history, but perhaps – this is a heart of a bigger play. Wow, I'm, I'm, I, I look at your do, and it's so incredible. I didn't see the, oh, the tinfoil hat on top trying to get into conspiracy theories. I got a here. wire hanger hanging out the back of my head. Yeah, I mean, look, this is a franchise that has not won 11 games since their Super Bowl season in 1991. And this move, like we have broken down, makes sense, but... There's no excitement. There's no moving of the needle. But the problem is when you've got a team president in Bruce Allen, you've got a head coach in Jay Gruden who are on the hot seat, they can't afford to blow things up and tear it down to the studs. Yeah. They have to try to keep pedaling around in mediocrity and then maybe eke out an eight or nine win season. So whip de doo the Redskins, they have traded for Case Keenum. And Vegas says, guess what, people? It hasn't changed a thing. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.